name is Paula James and I am licensed electrologist by Cosmetology Board of Michigan. As I already mentioned, um, some people are too sensitive to electrolysis um, and then especially the heat it, that it releases in the skin. Um, it, when others are not um, even noticing it at all. Um, but because of it's so individual, some people, I must admit, um, including myself, are overly sensitive. And um, there are some experiments you can do, experiment yourself, because again, because we are so different and our skin types are so different always, and, and it also depends what diet or what our diet is and um, what the weather is outside how much water we are drinking and then all that affects our skin and i came up with this little brochure that i hand everyone if, who is interested who comes in my office you can experiment to see how all these over-the-counter painkillers might help you um, the first item I have here, I remember one doctor was telling me to take Tylenol and Advil just as is advertised on the, uh, um, on the, uh, the medication itself. Um, you can also consult to your doctor and it's, those are pills at this point and then you can um, take them by mouth and as advertised or even Take the advice from your doctor at what particularly is working for you. So, there is another um, alternative, it's called numbing cream, super numb, that you apply to the skin, um, leave it on the skin, and then cover it with a small plastic bag or something, and then you can try. Um, let's see whether it works or not, because um, the super numb has a lidocaine. Um, in it and everything in um, cane in it um, is working better in mucous membranes membranes than on the skin itself mucous membrane means it's it's in our mouth um, inside of our intestines or um, something so when you go to dentist and then they do a lidocaine injection to you that's working just because it gets inside to our mucous membrane membranes and it's working perfectly but I saw in my practice for some people it does work some people it's not so that's the whole point of trying and experimenting with it because there are another um, over-counter creams for burns or sunburns and they called solar kind banana boat and water gel burn um, they also contain all those um, substances and it may work or may not work but you have to give it a try at least um, same applies the doctor now i think um, i'm not sure about the doctor now but i think it also has um, some kind of Lido kind or novo kind in it. I'm not sure. Okay. Um, also, we have um, all kind of wide variety of the over-the-counter drugs like sprays, creams, um, and um, for instance, like Ame American Anbesol, Boil Ease, Capicol Sore Throat. Ketokine, Dermoplast, Exactekine, Hurricane, Lanocaine, Aura Base with Benzocaine, Aura Gel, and Skeeter Stick. So, same applies all these um, pain relievers as well. Um, sometimes when um, you go in and ask to the um, pharmacist to give you something for burns or sunburns or burns or um, um, bug bites or something like this they might work for you as well um, okay then aspirin and ibuprofen are also anti-inflammatory and they work well for some people naproxen again is anti-inflammatory and works well um, when it comes to the muscle pain Acetamorphin is not anti-inflammatory, but it is used to release pain of ulcers. 
and other stomach problems. So you can actually try it. Um, again, it's the uh, lots of um, experimenting and then lots of um, um, error and trial, but you won't know un unless you try it. And then one last solution that I heard from the uh, doctor who uh, treats the cancer patients. Um, this lady used to come to me and um, because she was, uh, she was going to under cancer treatment, she was so sensitive that she couldn't take um, electrolysis. And so doctor told her to take crushed Tylenol and Advil really well and then take any kind of a cream and then make it like creamy and then apply to the skin and then leave it there like before you come in the office like 30 minutes earlier and when you come we remove it and clean up and then do the electrolysis on it. Now again all these um, medications over the counter drugs can be helpful you can give it a try um, but um, Keep in mind that I'm not a doctor, it's only the suggestion and it's up to you and it's fully your responsibility to find out what is working and not working for you. Um, also, the good idea is to consult to your doctor. I think that's the best one before when, when you choose one of those your uh, medications, you ask your doctor. Brought to you by Hair Busted.